Now, we're gonna do a few service. Variation that you do half motion. You're gonna have the elbow pretty much 90 degrees. You're gonna pop all the way back. But you have to let the ball bounce on your own side. Uh, what that means? That means when you hit the ball, it hits your side and then uh -huh. it goes over. So where do you aim? On your side. Which part of my side? Probably like about three quarter angle. The closer you let the ball bounce to you, the more it's gonna spike up. Should I demonstrate for you yes. to see? Okay. So I will start here. Doesn't matter where I start on the court, okay? Uh -huh. My end goal is to be around the T area on my side. So I'm here. Just watch my body. I didn't move my body so much. I knew exactly where's my toes. You try. Good. Here. Push me back. Push me back. Yes. Try again. It's not bad. Okay. Down. Up. Down. Up. Okay. Okay. Where's your left arm? Exactly there. Palm up. Like this. Yes. Aha. Toss the ball in front. That was great. Very nice. Do a few more. I like that. Control your body, Alex. Can you make it a little more higher off the ground? Better balance. Stop. Push me back. Yes. Yeah. So when you toss the ball, you gotta push me back. Push me back. Yes. Go. Yes. Again. You're moving too much your body. Easier. Excellent. Push me back. I want resistance. Push me. Stop there. So you activate the upper back by doing that. Now, the more you push me back, the left arm up. Left arm, left arm up. Uh, push, push, push. And then you can swing. Very good. The sound was better. Very good. So in this motion right now, I want to activate this part of the upper back of the kid. I have to make sure, squeeze me, back, back, back. Nasty tension, a little bit here, in these muscles. Left arm. Now, this is activate as well. Bend your knees. Push me back. Now it's not strong. And I will bend the knees, it's not so much. So I cannot expect any kid this age to bend too much the knees. I have to make sure this portion is activating, this portion is balanced. That means the left hand has to be strong to be accurate with the toss. Wow! It's been higher. Very good. Better. What he did right now, he bent his knees. He's able to do it. So I'm looking for coordination. Go again. Back your racket. So now I have some resistance. So when he's putting the weight here, this is pushing back. So now this, when the arm goes up, the, the right side goes up, then it's synchronization with the upper body and lower body. Good try. So pretty much we try to be more in control of your up, the upper body and the lower body. If the kids, they cannot sync these things together, we try to be more on the ground, stabilizing, and then the upper body does the rotation. That was very good sound, I hear it. Can you do two balls that you don't bend your knees, you don't move your feet? Let's see if the upper body can be activated from here and the core as well. That was very good. That's fine, again. That was very good.
That was excellent. Now bend your knees. Okay, progression is for Alex or any kid to bend the knee as the left arm goes up, the legs go down. Again, keep looking up to the ball. Do it again. Slower the left arm up. Poke, poke. Left arm up. I want you to keep it here, okay? Don't bend it. This is no good. We want the left arm to be as straight as possible. I see resistance on it, but it's very good. Now, relax, relax. Sometimes to build the strength here, keep it for a good 10 seconds. Five seconds, go. Push me back. Push me back. Bend the knees. So I can, I am pushing him, I go against him. So you have some resistance on it. Hold, hold, hold. So this is a way to build the muscle memory. We want to condition the body to stay in a certain way. Let's go, bend your knee. Try again. Try not to drop the elbow, push it back. Imagine or visualize, I have my hand here behind of you. you. Try to poke me. Wow, that was good. Nice. Stay lower, stay low. Again. A little bit slower the left arm up. Very elegant. Slowly. Again. Go down a little bit. Bend. That's very good. Now, next progression. You gotta hit the ball over the net. In the box. Nice and gentle. Okay? Oh. Go. I'm going With no bounce? No bounce. Directly over the net. Half motion. Poke. Poke me. Again. Hold. Hold. Rack it now over your head. Yes. And goes up. So by doing that now, we promote the elbow to stay 90 degrees. Without dipping it. Poke me. Stay. Stay right at above your head, like that. Many people try to poke me. They try to go around like this and go up. This is too much on the elbow. So I try to be a little more mindful for the younger kids who are not as developed. Make sure they drop down. So now what happens, I activate this muscle and all these muscles here, including the upper back. So this is like very crucial, the kids learn how to drop and then to go up. Go again. Nice. Puck, yeah, puck over your head. That was great. Stop there. Over your head. Stop there, stop there. Chest stays up, stays up. Down your back, racket, racket, racket. Stays up, left hand, left hand. Yes, this is the posture and go up. Yes, do that. Very good. If the ball is going to the net by doing that, we want to promote, get your racket. Poke me. Left arm up, racket over your head, drop down slowly. So we want the palm to go up. If palm goes up, the right palm goes up, most likely the ball is gonna be over the net and then let it come across. Keep the palm up. Poke. Again. Keep the palm higher up to the sky. Okay? Can you don't move your feet for right now? That's fine. I like that actually. If the ball keeps going to the net, although they think in the kids the palm goes up. Most likely the toss is too much at the front. Try to bring the ball right above your left shoulder. Thumb up. So you want the ball to be here. Yes. Right now your ball is here. Okay. See a difference? Yeah. Let's see. Don't move your feet. Make it a little bit easier. Slow down the left arm. Slow down the elbow. Did you move your feet? Try not to move your feet. That was great. Good balance. Go again. If for any reason the kids keep moving the feet, 
that means they keep chasing the toes or the stand is very narrow. We want to make sure like the stand is wide enough for them to have good stability. High level, just a little bit higher. Back, over your head, down. Down, okay? Okay. That was the best one. Very good, excellent. He got two in a row. So probably he got a little bit tired, his shoulder, by me like you know, have the resistance at the beginning. So now he got some rhythm a little bit. So it takes a little bit of a while, keep encouraging to have the slower motion, the slower left hand tossing the ball up. Let's go three more. Think what you're doing as maybe bounce the ball a little bit. Very good. Stop one second. Did you move your feet? Yes. Yes. I didn't say anything why you didn't move it. Because I, I see you have the intention to go up. You didn't collapse. You stay up with your upper body. Although he moved his feet, I don't discourage him to do that. I don't say like every detail is bad. As long as he's focusing the right elbow, the left arm to stay up longer. So his details to be negative or positive or very picky. We don't want every time to be in negative detail and reinforcement, we want to encourage him to do it over and over with the right form. Very nice, one more time. Very nice, go again. Elbow. That was the best one. Stay so long up there. Can you do one more time? Again. Very good left arm. I would like to see now the elbow higher, the right elbow. I don't know if you realize it, but you're dropping it. That was great. Go again. Some kids, they understand the concept by showing them. Sometimes by explaining to them with words, sometimes by touching them. Every kid has a different way of understanding how to do it. So first, like I have to touch him, make sure like he understands what I'm looking for. Then I have to make sure I show the left hand how it's supposed to be, so it's muscle memory. And then by him understanding now how it works, I have to go in details with words, so he has to understand how to apply it. Very good. Keep the right elbow a little bit higher up. Elbow, elbow. Keep the elbow higher, Alex. Is this? He thinks he's doing high, but in my eyes, it's a little bit too low, the right elbow. Do it more extreme than you think, okay? That was the best one. So, that was very low, right? No, it was high. <laughs> I tried to mess with him. So I have to make sure he's thinking, okay, what he's doing. That was very good. That was impressive. Any questions? How can you improve um, getting this longer, the left arm? The left arm. How can I improve my left arm to be higher? Almost your bicep here, touch your left ear. Can you do it? Yeah. Show me. You're already straight up. So there's <laughs> nothing to think about it, okay? Now, in terms of strength, Again, you, I can have maybe a resistance band. I can have it on your hand, attach here, and then I pull him against to strengthen it. I can have maybe you holding three tennis balls. So if I give you three balls, can you hold three balls? Go again, down, push me up. I have with my hand resistance a little bit. So that's another way. Go, 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 hold it, hold it. Go up, 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 hold, hold, hold. So I have to have some resistance here. Hold, push me back, push me back. So I have now to strengthen this arm more. So it depends the age group, depends uh, if they are physically fit to do it. So you have to go body weight primarily and a little bit extra. So that was a few variations we can uh, apply to the young kids how to serve and having like, you know, the elbow going higher versus lower or opening and also how to use the left hand to stay up and to toss the ball correctly. Many kids, they don't know actually how to serve until like 12, 13. 
and have like the wrong form. Some of them, they have good serve, but they have shoulder injuries because they serve so much and the, the body is not able to, to keep up the load of work. So it's a balance, the volume, how much you do, and also how the right biomechanics. Prepare the body from the ground up to be stronger, to do the nice effect to serve. In reality, we don't go for aces for this age. We go for variety. Make sure they understand the flat serve, the slice, the kick, wide body, T serves. When they understand that, then we can do more combination, a little more power. I hope that helps.